a healthy diet as a part of diabetes treatment. In the United States, more than 23 million people have some form of diabetes. All over the world, the number vastly increases. Untreated, diabetes can lead to serious problems, including kidney disease and heart disease. Diabetes, diabetes is a condition in which the body is unable to produce enough insulin or unable to use the insulin it can produce. Without insulin, the body cannot convert sugar into energy, and these sugars build up, causing a number of serious health conditions. There are three types of diabetes, type 1, type 2, and gestational. Out of those, the one that is the most common by far is type 2, which accounts for around 95% of all cases of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is also known as juvenile diabetes because it is generally diagnosed in childhood. For some reason, the body cannot produce enough insulin. A patient must carefully keep track of blood glucose levels and take insulin therapy. Only pregnant women contract gestational diabetes, usually late in the pregnancy, in the third trimester. No history of diabetes is necessary for this to occur, and it usually goes away once the baby is born. Even if the mother has gestational diabetes, the baby will not generally be born with diabetes provided the mother takes care of herself during the pregnancy. The role of weight in diabetes treatment, keeping excess weight off should be a concern for everyone, but especially diabetics. Being overweight can lead to heart issues, which is only exacerbated by diabetes. It is important for diabetics to follow a balanced diet approved by a physician, dietitian, or nutritionist to provide all the nutrients necessary to maintain good health. All foods are made up of the three macronutrients, fats, carbohydrates, and proteins, and we need all of these to be healthy. There are plenty of diets and fly-by-night experts who love to list the horrors of fats and or carbs, but the truth is that they are both absolutely necessary, if you mean the good fats and carbs, in the right amounts. Protein is a necessity, protein comes into play in just about every function of the body and in just about every cell. The recommendation from the American Diabetes Association and the American Heart Association is for the average adult's caloric intake to be about 35% protein. Proteins are made from amino acids and these determine if a protein is complete or incomplete. Complete proteins contain all the eight essential amino acids as well as the 14 non-essential amino acids. Incomplete proteins lack at least one of the essential amino acids. When gained from food sources, incomplete proteins should be eaten with other proteins so all the essential amino acids can be acquired. Essential amino acids are named such because the human body cannot manufacture them on its own. They must come from outside sources, like food or supplements. Non-essential amino acids can be produced by the body without a dietary source. Both complete and incomplete proteins can be found in food. Any protein that comes from an animal, like meat, eggs, or milk, is always a complete protein. There are no complete plant-based proteins, with the singular exception of soy. Plant-based proteins should be eaten in combinations to assure you are getting the right kinds of protein. Protein supplements. Often, diabetics have difficulty getting all the nutrients they need from dietary sources, nutrients like protein. Many physicians will recommend that people in this situation take supplements, which provide all the necessary nutrients one might be lacking from a regular diet. Supplements are perfect for those trying to keep the weight off. Always be sure to read the ingredients to find out what's in a supplement before taking it, however. It does no good to take a supplement to help lose weight if your protein supplement is full of fat, carbohydrates, and calories. Protein supplements are produced from a number of healthy sources, including whey, casein, soy, rice, and egg. Not only do protein supplements come from many sources, they come in many forms and flavors. Snack bars, which come in flavors that include chocolate, are popular choices. They not only provide necessary protein, but they fill a craving for chocolate or sweets in a healthy way. Protein can also be found in ready-made liquid protein drinks, like chocolate or vanilla shakes. Powder is another popular way to get protein. These are the most versatile supplements you can find and they can be used in many different ways, depending upon the type you choose to buy. They come unflavored, so they can be added seamlessly to a favorite meal. There are also flavored protein powders that can be added to liquids to make smoothies or shakes. Not only do these include the standard chocolate and vanilla, but flavors such as berry or fruit punch. These shakes and smoothies often make excellent meal replacements when you just don't have time to sit down and eat something. Profect from Protica, still another form of protein supplement is the liquid protein shot. Profect, made by Protica provides 25 grams of protein in each 3-ounce serving, along with 100% of the vitamin C and 50% of the B-complex vitamins you will need for the day. Profect contains absolutely no carbohydrates or fats and each serving is only 100 calories, which is perfect for anyone watching their weight. Profect comes in many delicious flavors, including ruby melon twist, cool melon splash, orange pineapple, and blue raspberry, so there's something for everyone's tastes. You don't have to be a diabetic to use a protein supplement. You can just be someone who wants to live a healthier life and have a healthier diet.
whatever the case, you should discuss any changes with a physician before implementing them. There may be a gap in your diet that a nutritionist or dietitian can find, where some important nutrient might be lacking. They'll identify just what you need to remain happy and healthy.